Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. It's June 10th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here with Grant Dewey from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Grant, thanks for being here this week. Uh, in some ways, you could say you blinked and you might have missed it. The, uh, the Muni rally that we saw at the end of May uh, ran out of gas a little bit this week. Uh, we started to see some changes in the underlying economic data. Tell me what you were watching. Yeah, um, Mike, it started, I would say really started last week with the unemployment number. Um, you know, inflation is just, there's just no doubt it's running very hot. So the non-farm payroll numbers showed the overall labor market, you know, continuing to add jobs uh, at a rapid rate. Unemployment rate continues to hover kind of around that 3.6%, which is just slightly above uh, the 3.5% low prior to the pandemic. So um, we uh, we had this morning uh, CPI data, uh, which you know added fuel to the inflation picture. It grew one percent month over month, 0.6 percent if you exclude the volatile food and energy components. Uh, the 8.6 percent year over year, uh, you know, headline number that you'll see hit a new 40 year high. So you know um, we're definitely expecting to see uh, more rate hikes, uh, be 250 basis point hikes. Uh, at the June and July meetings, and almost certainly a third increase uh, at the September meeting. So, uh, and then, you know, just at 10 o'clock, we got the consumer sentiment uh, reading, and that slumped to 50.2%, which is uh, the lowest value recorded to date uh, in that. So that just reflects, you know, uh, waning consumer confidence given the negative, um, uh, negative real wage uh, income out there. So, you know, amidst this kind of very bearish backdrop. And you mentioned that was a bit of a turnaround from, uh, you know, prior to last Friday, but, uh, you know, the last week or so has been um, definitely more bearish. Uh, Muni fund flows, which had turned positive, reverse course this week and and uh, turned negative again. And, and uh, you know, we had, um, I would say, a kind of a three-week reprieve uh, recently from, uh, you know, from the March, April, May lows, which were just horrible months uh, for Muni uh, performance. We actually had benchmark uh, Muni yields exceeding the rates on comparable treasuries, which is a pretty rare, uh, rare occurrence. So given, you know, all the vol volatility, uh, bond insurance penetration, you know, continues to grow. So we saw it hit, uh, you know, 11% for the month of May. Uh, so that continues to uh, increase. I think we were at around 8% last year, which was, uh, the strongest year in a while. So, um, you know, again, that has to do with you know, volatility, also the relative lack of liquidity in the market uh, overall. You've got a fear of a slowing uh, economic environment. And, and uh, so it's been a strong, um, uh, a strong year to date for bond insurance. And one of the things interesting about that is the fact that it's coming against the backdrop of relatively light muni supply. Uh, and that, that, that supply situation is going to be even exacerbated next week. I think it's less than uh, $5 billion or just around $5 billion on the new issue calendar next week. Um, just had, uh, taking a look back at this past week, I know BAM uh, insured just under $200 million of new issues uh, led by the Ridley School District, which came in at $39 million from Pennsylvania, as well as the Bethlehem Authority Water and Sewer Bond, uh, $27 million. Uh, Ridley was, I believe, a, a, a Jenny uh, Montgomery Scott issue, and uh, Bethlehem was priced by RBC. Uh, this coming week, uh, again, the, the supply picture is going to be relatively light. Uh, BAM's focus will be out in California, right? Uh, we've got uh, a large uh, lease revenue bond for the city of Indio, as well as uh, a community facilities district coming from Bay Meadows. What are you hearing about how uh, people are expecting those transactions to go? It will go well. You know, as you mentioned, there's definitely a seasonal um, uh, kind of bullishness for munis where um, the, uh, the, the redemptions run uh, very high seasonally, June, July, and August. And and uh, and generally the calendar will be you know manageable during that period. So the technicals turn favorable, um, but I think um, you know I think really it, it all comes down to fund flows again. So if uh, you know if they're relatively stable or even uh, slightly negative, uh, the the deals will do very well. If they if if they turn more negative due to Kind of a um, you know a, a resumption of uh, higher treasury rates, uh, then I think that you know they'll continue to struggle a bit. It's uh, uh, the bond funds are the overwhelming um, uh, buyers in this market, and uh, and so if um, uh, you know an outflow environment, there's always weakness. 
Great, just a couple of housekeeping things before we go. Uh, I encourage viewers to stay tuned to BAM's YouTube channel. We are gonna be posting Credit Insights videos on the Bay Meadows and Indio transactions. So you get a more in-depth look at the credit uh, there from uh, Managing Vice President Mark Capel in our San Francisco office who underwrote those two transactions. They'll be coming up uh, before Monday. And as well as on Wednesday, uh, BAM is collaborating with CNBC. They're holding their Financial Advisor Summit uh, aimed at retail financial advisors at, at working with high net worth individuals across the country. And BAM will be sponsoring a muni market panel during that session with Patrick Marr from uh, Nuveen's separately managed accounts business, as well as David Womack from uh, the city of New York talking about uh, an issuer's perspective on what uh, volume may look like in the second half of the year. Because we do uh, right now, the, the conditions are, are relatively uh, favorable for munis. Uh, second half of the year, we may see more volume as uh, infrastructure investment picks up. So that's uh, something we'll be talking about on Wednesday with CNBC. So thanks for your time today, Grant. I will talk to you soon. Thanks, Mike.